Once upon a time, Mike, he says, I'm bad, and jumps on their parents' bed. Their parents wake up and said, huh, what's that noise? And then they said, Mike, what are you doing? Go back to bed. Mike then goes back disappointed and sobbing diamond tears. Mike keeps this a secret and goes to bed. Then he wakes up and goes downstairs. Then his parents say, no games until you apologize. Mike apologized and ran off trying to cry the diamond tears. He tries to remember something that will make him cry, and he remembers when his girlfriend broke up with him. So he started crying the diamond tears, and he also wanted to sell those diamonds. He ran to a pawn shop, and the pawn shop owner said, Hey, where are your parents? Mike said, I ran off and found diamonds. The pawn shop owner said, Okay, just hand the diamonds in for the money. The pawn shop owner analyzes the diamonds closely and gives him a thousand dollars for the diamonds. Mike says, Wow! Then the pawn shop owner says, A deal is a deal. Now go back to your parents. Mike then ran as fast as he could back home before his parents noticed he was gone. And when he got back home, he was exhausted from all the running. His mom was preparing food when he quietly made his entrance, trying to hide the money. He softly makes his steps upstairs and puts his money under his pillow as a temporary spot. Then he thinks, where else would I hide such a great amount of money at? But he thinks... If I have these special tears, won't scientists put me in some sort of lab cage? But he forgets about that and devours the horrendously delicious food and watches a movie where people eat diamonds with the family. Then he goes to bed. Mike wakes up the next day and his mouth feels a little weird. He then saw something horrible. When is it? One of his teeth fell out. Mike then says, well, that's perfect timing. Well, where else will I hide this money at now? He thinks for a moment, hmm, maybe I'll be able to snack a case to hide the money. Or maybe I could just hide it under, under my bed. He hid the money under his bed and made himself cry a few dozen tears, but just a as he was about to finish hiding the money in diamonds, his parents walk in and say, What you doing? Then Mikey, with fear in his eyes, slowly look at his parents. Then they see the money in diamonds. They said, hey, Where did you get that from? He said he just found it outside. And about the money? Mike knows this. there is no way out of this, so he confessed and said, Everything about the diamond, tears, sneaking out, and the money. But his parents did not believe a single word, he said. Mike got grounded, and his parents stole his money and diamonds to keep all for themselves. As Mike, as usual, crying the tears of wealth, his parents then walk in and see him crying diamonds, and they were very shocked. Then they kicked him out of the house, and then a truck that said Fostering Now approaches Mike. Mike says, if nobody likes these tears, I'll use it for my own money then. He cries as much as he can, and sleeps on the concrete floor that night. Mike wakes up surprisingly alive somehow, and looks around. He was in a foster home? Mike said, where am I? One of the kids said next to him, we're in a foster home. Probably no one will save us from this prison. We're stuck here because of my powers. All I can do is just teleport short distances. Mike then said, wait, can't you just teleport in next to a wall and escape? Oh, I thought the walls were thick. I never tried that before. Let's go and hold... Let's just go and hold on to me to teleport with me. Alright, they both say three, two, one. Poof. They did not end up in a wall, but outside. 
they both start moving towards Mike's home. And Mike hasn't cried yet, so they both introduce each other. Her introduced herself and how she got in there. And so did Mike. They look at Mike's home and Paris says, Huh, this is your home. How beautiful. Let's sneak in. And while sneaking in, they hear a machine-like sound. They don't question it and 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 entrance inside. Paris said, Under your bed has a lot of space. You settle there for the night while I find a spot. As Mike goes under the bed, he sees Pear teleport away, and shortly after that, Mike fell asleep.